Hey, it's Joe Tamargo from WetHeadPumpRepair.com. All right, welcome back to part five of the Waterway Executive Spa Pump Rebuild. First thing you want to do is hit that subscribe button right below the videos. That way you get the latest and greatest videos that we publish delivered right into your inbox from YouTube. Okay, the second thing you want to do after you're done watching a video is head on over to WetHeadPumpRepair.com where we can sell you the kits, the handy dandy kits to fix your pump. All right, welcome back. This is part five of the Waterway Executive Spa Pump Repair Series. Just giving a quick shout out to my buddy Dan Dan Harrison from PoolandSpa.com for the cool t-shirts. All right, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to remove the through bolts. Okay, the, it's important to remove the through bolts. That way you can remove the, uh, the housing, the wet end housing. Okay, so in the back here, you have four bolts, and the reason they're called through bolts is because they go all the way through the motor. All right, so I'm going to remove one of them right now here, live, and I'm going to show you how long they are. Now remember, there are four different bolts. You want to remove all four through bolts, and then you'll remember to uh, you'll be able to remove your sealed housing. Okay, so here we go. That is one bolt. See that? It's called the through bolt because it goes all the way through the motor. Okay, so you got four of these. Sometimes they're tighter, so just take your time. Uh, I understand that sometimes these bolts are tighter. No big deal. Just take your time and loosen them up. Okay, there you go. This is bolt number two. Remember, you have four of these bolts in the back. Now, what I'm going to do for part six is I'm going to bring the camera closer and I'm going to give you an in-depth look of how to remove these rubles. All right? Remember, all parts are available at wetheadpumprepair.com. This was part five of the Waterway Executive Spa Pump Rebuild Series. That is the through bolts you want to remove all through bolts four of them with a nut driver okay there you go and then i'm going to show you how to remove this uh wet head housing all right there you go see you in the next video peace